Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the HP Pavilion 15-inch uh, AY167NA. Uh, this is a new model of the Pavilion 15-inch laptop from HP, uh, which uses the 7th generation Intel KB Lake uh, Core i5 7200U processor. And we're just going to start off by taking out the laptop from the packaging. So we have the usual fare in here, so we've got our support contact details, quick setup instructions, then we have power cable, power lead there, and then we have the laptop itself. And it's obvious just from looking at it here, this is clearly a bit different to previous pavilion chassis that I have looked at based on, I believe it was fifth generation. Uh, so we've got sort of a ridged finish on the top of the machine there. And then if we just take this out. So yes, we've got sort of this ridged finish on the top of the machine. Inside quite similar, in fact very similar to the Dell uh, that I've already looked at with the i5 KB Lake, uh, i3 KB Lake, sorry, in this sort of brushed uh, metal effect plastic. Um, keyboard layout all looks okay. Similarly to previous ones, the keyboard doesn't seem to have too much flex around the bezel. The touchpad is all kind of built into the chassis, so you don't have that. You've got a dip here but no definite sort of ridge uh, to indicate where it starts. So that's, I, I quite like that in terms of looks. And going around the machine itself in terms of ports, so we have Ethernet, Ethernet, HDMI, a pair of USB 3 ports, uh, the headphone jack, power in, then on the other side we have our optical drive, SD card reader, an additional power slot. On the back nothing, just the battery which can be released there. And on the front again nothing, just a little lip for opening it up. Now we've gone through and done the initial setup of the machine. And what we've done is just shut things down. And booting it up for the first time since doing the initial setup, we're looking just timing it here. Around about 30 seconds from cold boot to the desktop. Obviously, if you uh, opt to put your machine to sleep rather than Shutting it down completely, that will be reduced a bit, or quite a bit. Um, and looking at the pre-installed software on here, it's really not too bad. Um, we do have the usual HP support stuff and things like that that I'll be stripping off. Um, otherwise, we've got Apple Bonjour. I'd probably recommend taking that out unless you use any of those services. Um, we've got a couple of Cyberlink things for um, media playback and editing. Uh, Dropbox which is just the 25 gigabyte sort of free trial. Um, McAfee Live Safe is antivirus, again I'd remove that and just rely on Windows Defender or your choice. And then the Wild Tangent games here. So other than a few of the HP pre-install bits, um, really there's not too much junk which comes on this system out of the box. It's certainly one of the more pleasant that I've used straight out. Um, we do have sort of DTS audio control panel and McAfee running on the bottom bar here, but there's not masses. Um, so quite a clean Windows image on here. Um, the fact you're running off a mechanical hard drive does mean boot times aren't super quick. Um, but certainly out the box it's not as unpleasant as some machines you'll have seen in the past. Um, it's quite a reasonable sort of base system image. Um, the only thing you have down on the bottom bar here is we've got the addition of Amazon and then sort of the usual pre-install bits in here, so bookings, 
booking.com and a couple HP applications and Netflix in here but not a great deal beyond what you find in the standard Windows image. Um, other first impressions, the touchpad seems reasonably good. Uh, the screen brightness and contrast, okay, it's acceptable. I, I guess it's only a TM panel. Uh, it's only a 1366 by 768 resolution on this as well. Um, other things that I'd note, um, unfortunately it's only got, while it has 8 gigs of RAM, it's only a single channel memory configuration. Um, while this isn't really a gaming laptop, it is going to hurt performance a little bit. Um, just from the fact that you've got one channel of memory instead of two, so that is going to impact on gaming frame rates a little bit. But for general usage, not too bad. Anyway, I hope you found this first quick look useful. Um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from us. Thanks for watching.